Ha, I'm the Reverend Jesse Jackson. As children, many of us learned to read through the collection of Dr. Seuss books. Stories like The Cat in the Hat, Horton Hears a Who, Hop on Pop, Green Eggs and Ham, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. They were all fine for little white children. But the young black inner city child has never had a book upon which he could look and find someone of his kind. Lot of D, lot of doll, lot of D, lot of doll. <laughs> that is why I'm offering these Jesse Jackson's children's books. For just $49.95, you will get stories from the street. Stories like Horton Here's a Hole. <laughs> I know there's a hole who's down there, and what's more, I'm sure there's two, or three, or even four. A whole family of holes that holds to survive. Don't be like a hoe, keep hope alive. <laughs> Your children will have hours of fun as they learn important stories about life. Other books in the collection are The Crackhead and the Hat, <laughs> The Grinch Who Stole My Stereo, <laughs> Hot on Cop, <laughs> and my personal favorite, Green Eggs and the Government Cheese. <laughs> I will not eat green eggs and gummy cheese. I will not eat it because it makes me wheeze. I will not eat green eggs and gummy cheese because it keeps me from going to the toilet with these. To order Jesse Jackson's children's books, send $49.95 to Horton Hughes a Hub, P.O. Box 479-999, Chicago, Illinois, 60201. Order now. Come on, ma. I need to make a comeback. I ain't worked in years. The good times are over. Someone called over Lear. I made my rounds in the Hollywood circle. But now I'm being this by Urkel unemployment. It's overpowering. Maybe Mickey D just hired. At this point, I'm being going to steal. For someone that was out me. It looks great. I just hope the service matches up. Hey, Mom! It's time once again for the Rocky Hannocks of America's hardest working West Indian family, the Headley. All right, you good people, here's your meal. We got your main dish, your side dish, your radish on a dirty dish, and your album Bangladesh, and for newly released on tape, soap dish. see what these people having for dessert. Oh, I think I'll just have some fruit. We don't have no fruit here in your pasty rice cake. <laughs> well, I do. Hey, man, what do you think you're doing, Bruce Lee, selling uh, fruit to my customers here? I know, man, I won. I sam one on the one family clean the fruit stand. This a wife for anyone. This our son, no one. This our dog, Obi-Wan. <laughs> Ugly little mangy dog. What kind of lazy dog is that? Dog is a watchdog, seeing eye dog, mouse dog, and when dog get old, 
she meet on stick. <laughs> we work hard. We all work hard. We hardest working family ever. Don't ever say that around here. We the hardest working family and don't be selling no fruit to my customers. Sure, I sell the fruit. It's a thick country. It's a free sidewalker. Free Nasa Mandara. <laughs> he already free, man. See, it's all the working out the grid. <laughs> my baby maker, Hilda. Hilda, get out here, woman. Come hey, on. What you be calling me after for, God free? You know I got many, many things to be doing. I got to be the waitress, his mistress, the hostess with the mostest, the maid of deed, I serve the tea, and look at me, I'm heavy tea. <laughs> you stop a rapping and look here, we got a man over there selling fruit to our customers. Too bad for you, smoky head, hemp talking rasta people. <laughs> One sell a vegetable, dairy product, to small electrical appliance, uh, and novelty item. Got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t shirt. <laughs> Watch it twice, so you got the Mutant Turtle hand puppet. Good deal at the low price. One family also have a $1 battery pack. Look at that, man. That's a cheap battery, one lasts a half hour. Half hour? Too long to listen to music. Time to get back to work. Good to see you. It's a nice day to buy flour at the lowest price, no? Hold on oh, right there now. I'm going to tell you something. They had me sell the freshest flowers at the lowest price around here. We sell day old flour. Who buys bread now? We sell three day old flour, two dollar for a bunch. I got, we call the flour. Two bunch, dollar. <laughs> we got today. Every customer leave our restaurant with a basket of old dead dry leaves, absolutely free. Look, Yoko Ono, I don't want your flowers. All I want is some coffee to go. Sell a hot steaming cup of coffee, 50 cents. Here, the, get this man a, a, a fresh cup of the finest Jamaican bean, only 48 cents. Best the coffee in the world comes directly from my brother. Who that? He won one you haven't met, Juan Valdez. <laughs> a long way for a joke, don't you think? I think so, man. Well, this family here are not going to be outworked by that family. Nobody outworked the head. If they're going to be open 24 hours, we're going to open 25. Now how you going to do that, man? I don't know, but we're going to work on it. Yeah, yeah man. Got to get, get to work. work. Join us again for another episode of The Hey Man with the Henley, the second hardest working family in America. great for our honeymoon. Yeah, baby, think? but it's too expensive. I mean, we can have a real good time in Inglewood. Inglewood? Yeah, you know, because all we gonna be doing is, wow. you know. Did I hear someone say knocking boots? <laughs> Got a honeymoon suite with your name on it, my brother. And the price is recite because budget, budget vacations, vacations are us. Let me do a quick intro. My name's Clavel, and I'm Howard Tibbs III. And we are Funky Finger, Finger Productions. Productions. Bringing you a little something to make you go, hmm. You know Arsenio stole that from me. Say what? Damn skimpy. <laughs> now, I know Billy Crystal did that little home on the range, city slicker kind of thing. Is Billy in town? Because you know he has... What? <laughs> Look, I'm, I don't want to spend my honeymoon with some cows. Yeah, man, we ain't interested. Well, well, Nelly, partner. You don't have to be interested, brother. All you have to do is just buy. Now, for the nominal fee of a uh, uh, $62.95, you and the lovely bride debt can spend two fun-filled days at Round Rump Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> now, look here, home cook it. That price includes a cabin right on the shores of Booty Bay. Booty Bay? Isn't that a landfill? Well, it may stink all to be damned, but the scenery's smoking. <laughs> Let's go, all right? 
Uh-oh, how it looked like they trying to hit the old dusty trail. I better pull out the heavy ammo. Just give them a taste. Got to pay for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Delroy and them from the Gap Band that I thank them for the use of the thread. Charlie, too. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks y'all. Just yell at you. Well, you know, we just scallywagging and lollygagging. Here we go. <laughs> Action. Put the quarter in, homie. Bow, wow, wow. You're you good. You ain't want to make it. You're good. Right. Uh oh, I see we got some buffalo. Oh, the chef is about to go through one. Oh, and a little Philly. Oh, oh chef's time to rope me a Philly. <laughs> Baby, I was in heaven and we were both butt naked. <laughs> sisters be tripping on the straight up. You all right, homie? I mean, I think she didn't win buck wild. Man. Hold up. 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 Hold Adam Cowboy, <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> you all right? I'm cool, man. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> hey, man, that's a blank piece of paper. Man, why don't you just chill? That's where we're going to put the pictures when we get them back from the photo, man. Uh, let's get out of here. You know, honey, Inglewood sounds real good. Hey, 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 man, I'm going to bust a in your way. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, didn't he say Inglewood? Yeah. Yeah, don't we have a two-day thing going with my cousin Boudreaux? Yeah, I remember that. Don't Arsenio all look like that dude? What's his name? Uh, uh, Meshach Taylor, but with much more booty. something burning? Mmm, it smells like bacon. Oh my God, John, look! Mister, are you okay? Help me! <laughs> Never better! Just trying to take advantage of that hole in the ozone. Put some killer in my cheeks. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to know. Fire Marshal Bill Burns. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Ashley. How you folks doing? <laughs> Say, uh, Bill, you want to get my back? Anything for you, my little charcoal briquette. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. She loves this new non-stick formula. <laughs> well, think I'll give this little tug a lucky loot. Check for safety violations. Aww. Oh, but Bill, it's our vacation. Baby, disaster has a real good travel engine. <laughs> Coming right up, hot stuff. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the Barbie, baby. <laughs> Say there, son. Did you know that deep sea fishing is the number one cause of cruise ship casualties? Let me show you something. Let's just say there's a shark warning. And you've just taken a bath in a bucket full of fish guts. Oh. I tried to hit some butt. You're not over the side. Before you know it, feeding frenzy! <laughs> Fire Marshal Bill, it's a great wine. So it is! got ourselves a trophy fish. <laughs> Are you fooling? Hold oh, this, lady. My body is completely numb. I haven't felt pain since I stopped that lava flow at Mount Penitubo. <laughs> oh, my face! Excuse me, son. Hey, hold it right there, Grandma. <laughs> Just what the heck do you think you're doing? 
I'm just having a drink. Well, you better be extra careful. Drinking on the deck of a cruise ship can be fun, but it can also be very, very <laughs> deadly. <laughs> Say you've got your pina colada in one. And a beaker full of hydrochloric acid in the other. You're strolling on the upper deck. Somebody says, hey, look, Captain Stubik, spuke it over the side. You forget which is which. <laughs> I won't be singing with Domingo. Thank you, Fire Marshal Bill. Well, you never can be too careful, man. Why don't you stick around for my next demonstration? Attention! Attention! Can I have your attention? <laughs> this net safety tip could prevent imminent disaster. Now, just for the sake of argument, let's say they saved Hitler's brain. And he's messed around a plot to blow this ship to kingdom come. You're having a birthday party on the boat. One of Hitler's Nazi bakers hands you a birthday cake made out of plastic and stuff. Quick, into the lifeboats, the ship's gonna blow! Everybody remain calm. I am a fire marshal. First, you extinguish the Jews like so. <laughs> then you merely dispose of your explosive little friend in the nearest trash receptacle. <laughs> That's not a trash receptacle. Okay, smart guy. <laughs> Where does it lead to then? To the engine room. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm just wasting my breath. Look, a ship! We're saved! Hold it right there, son! Is that a flare gun you got there? <laughs> These things can be extremely dangerous! Especially in a lifeboat filled with gasoline. Ashley! Got you, Bill! Let me show you something! <laughs>